Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Coffee Run Live, episode 517. I thought that I would come to you live and freshly caffeinated from my good, good friends at Nash Lane. This is not a paid advertisement by any stretch of the imagination, but they are very, very delightful coffee. I have two main coffee places that I um, really go to here and it's like Black Milk or here or Nash. I just love them. They're amazing. And they're lovely humans. You know, it's I um I shared a post earlier today about all of the things, or some of the things, not all of the things, some of the things that I really, really love about living here. And I've been really open um over the years that I am I am not a local, I am not from here, and I do not want to live here forever. And it's it's so curious to me. That, that some people, like when I've shared different things over the years about different stuff, they've, I've got, I've copped flack for not being desperately and devotedly and completely in love with, with, with being here. Uh, and I, I talk a lot about my, um, my love of traveling and, you know, getting out of here and the need to get out of here. And anyway, so there are lots and lots of things that I love. One of them, the, one of the things that I really love about being here is the coffee. It's really, really good coffee, my friends. Really, really good coffee. So the next time you get to come up and, and stay here if you or visit or pass through, make sure you get coffee from Nash Lane or Black Milk. They are the best. So what I wanted to talk about was some things that have been really kind of curious that, that have come up for some clients of mine and for myself as well about what we put off and why. What I want you, I'm just going to kind of like jump straight in today with, with giving you a couple of tips and hints of, of things you can do if you've been feeling like you've been putting stuff off. Now, one of the things that one of my clients have been putting off is booking a photo shoot. Now, I don't know how many of you have ever done this. I know I used to get really nervous. I actually still get really nervous about photo shoots. I don't love them. Um, let's use this as a topic of a of, of conversation today. I am all up in the selfie jam. I love taking selfies. I think they're great. I'm really happy to be on camera, you know, and this kind of thing. But I get really, I get really nervous and, and I feel really funny and kind of awkward when I find myself in photo shoot land. And I, I think part of the reason for this is like, it's, it's kind of, um, I sort of look at the photography process as being as having to be really quite vulnerable, right? I'm okay with being vulnerable, with sharing my thoughts and my feelings, but it's quite different having uh, like the, the the photo the photographer being so focused on on me that I kind of get really awkward and uncomfortable. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. And so I'm like, the, 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 the thing that I have to ask every photographer that I've ever worked with, I've gone, you know what? I just need you to be very directive. I need you to tell me what to do. I need you to show me some examples of, of poses if you need me to do that, because me going and researching them doesn't freaking help. So I, I used to put off organizing um, photography shoots and things like that because I just didn't want to, quite frankly, feel like a dickhead. You know, the, the finished, and, and that's not on them, right? That's never about the photographer. It's all about me feeling very exposed in, uh, in, a, in a kind of a weird way. Like, I guess like the lens is like laser focused on you and I felt like they could see all my faults and my flaws and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So I think it's really important for, for any of you, like having a professional photo shoot is not necessarily the, the be all and end all and it's sure as shit not going to make you more successful. Let's just put that out there. You do not have to have a fancy website. You do not have to have a professional photo shoot. You don't even need to have brand guidelines or brand colors or a logo or anything like that in order to be successful online. Uh, but it is a nice to have, I think, if you have financial capacity to in, invest in that kind of stuff, then I think it is, a, it's, it's, you know, it's something that's not going to go astray, but it's not necessary in order for you to become successful. So that's that. What I did want to share with you, though, was uh, like, and that was just an example about one of my clients putting things off. So I said to her, I said, okay, when are you going to book it in? You've got to go and book it in today. And I can't wait to hear when it is that you're having it because like this lady is absolutely a, a rock star and will rock a professional photo shoot. She'll be amazing. Hey, Fiona, how are you? So that's that. 
I guess the thing for me, the, the working example that I can give you is I've got a new program that I want to share with you. I've talked to you a bit about this. Jojo, hello. Good morning. Uh, I've spoken with you guys a little bit about this new program that I've been uh, plotting and drafting and, and I literally have got it all, um, you know, kind of mapped out. And I wanted to write the sales page last week. Like I really, really wanted to write the sales copy. I, I It's a program that we're starting on the 1st of December. It is gonna rock your world. It is so fun. It is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so transformational and I'm really excited about it. But I was supposed to write the sales copy for it last week so that we could actually, so I couldn't announce it yesterday. And I could not do it. It's, it's really interesting. I was talking to a, 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 a one of my suppliers this morning and I just said, I was just in, like, I couldn't do it last week. I was almost in like survival mode. Hey, Linda, where I was just doing, you know, to me, survival mode is just doing the things that I needed to do in order to get through the week. Uh, I was, I was on the, I was like working with clients. I was doing all of the things that I needed to do, but to, to write the copy for a brand new program last week, I was just like, I, I, I can't, you know, you guys, if, if I had tried to write something last week, you would have just been like, oh, this is a bit shit. And then all of that time and energy and pressure that I'd gone and put on myself wouldn't have worked. But for me, the thing that I decided yesterday, I was like, okay, brand new week, I have to write this sales copy because I really want to get this out to you guys this week, right? I'm like, it has to be done, it has to be done. And so I, I got into the mode and it was like, it all started flowing. I put a, po a photo up yesterday of me sitting on my, on my couch over there with my journal, getting all of the sales copy written out. And, and for me, the, the, sometimes it's like, it's the thing that we've got to resolve, and and I think that this is it's a bit of a um, it's a bit of a learning curve for well, for all of us I think that there are no there's no nobody out there out there nobody knows what it is that you've made the commitment to yourself around right so you might have been putting this off you might have been putting that off and the thing that, that I've really learned over over time the you know ten years of doing this is that nobody else knows what my agenda is. Nobody else knows what my self-imposed um, timeframes are. And it's okay for me to push things out if I need to push things out. So I was battling a little bit of, um, it, it's really kind of curious. I, I didn't feel 100% last week. I didn't skate through the week last week. I felt like I was maybe fighting. My son had come home from school camp with a bit of a sniffly nose. I'm like, oh man, you know, with the whole COVID thing. Like I can't go skating with other people, even though it's not COVID. Um, it was just like, oh yeah, nah, I've just kind of got to get through and, and survive and, and, and conserve my energy and do the thing. So it's one thing to make wise and informed decisions about holding off on projects or holding off and implementing things. And it's quite another to, to sit there and go, oh, I'm not going to do this from a, a place of self-sabotage. So here's what I encourage you to do today. I would love it. In fact, I, I think it would be really, really helpful for you to sit down and write out what have you been putting off? Because there might be some things and you may, maybe you've been putting off making decisions. Maybe you've been putting off launching something. Maybe you've been putting off booking that holiday, having a tough conversation. Uh, and they're never fun to have, right? Let's, let's be honest. That's why they're called tough conversations rather than fun conversations. Have you been putting off reaching out and talking to a friend? Have you been, re have you been putting off asking for help and support? Have you been putting off um, I don't know, like writing a book, putting a plan together, like, I don't know, what have you been putting off? Because if you, when you start to document it and you start to look at it all, and then we go, all right, well, I've been putting all of this stuff off, we know why. Is that the, the thing, the thing that I had to really work through last week is like, am I putting this, am I putting off writing my sales copy because I don't believe in the program, because I don't believe in the process, because I don't, is it not aligned? Or am I, do I just need to get through and do what I need to do? And, you know, it, it's then being really honest with yourself around, well, is, is this sabotage or is this self-preservation, right? Is this, a, a, why, why have you been putting off doing these things? So what have you been putting off? Work out why you've been putting these things off. 
and then go, all right, now that with that information, start to put some time frames around it. So another client that I've been working really closely with in the last few weeks, where she's she's mapping out next year, right? So it's all about going, okay, well, we've got 2021. What do I want to do? What what are the important things that are going to happen in your schedule? So I buy in you know office stores a big annual planner, right? That's maybe uh, like an A3 size piece of paper. Uh, like and you can write on it with whiteboard markers and and stuff like this, semi permanent, uh, non permanent markers, and in there it's it's like usually I do this a couple of months ago, but you know it's twenty twenty, so we've got the twenty twenty effect happening with all of the things. But if we're planning what you want in twenty twenty one, so put in there your if you're going to have school holidays off, go and mark those out of your thing. If you want to run an event, go and mark that in. If you've got an event that you're attending, go and mark that in. Because then you can start to go, all right, this is what we're working towards. And then you can start building your action plan around the things that you've been putting off. And that's the stuff that starts to build momentum behind what it is that you that you want to do, that you want to achieve, the goals that you want to hit, the milestones that you want to walk through, and all of that kind of thing. So number one is, what have you been putting off? Get a big long list. Number two, why, and it could be a photo shoot, it could be doing a web development, it could be launching your program, it could be whatever it happens to be. The second thing is why have you been putting it off? The third thing is, well, what are you gonna do about it? So what's the next required action that you can take to to either uh, like progress it forward? Now, some of those things that you've been putting off, you might decide, you know what? I'm not going to do that anymore. That is done and then you need to clear it out and let it go, die a natural death, whatever it is that needs to happen. Might be a book idea that you had. It's like, you know, I've been putting off starting to write that. Actually, that needs to be retired. That was not a very good idea. You know, we all have not very good ideas. And just because you've had this idea, it doesn't mean you have to do something uh, with it to bring it to life. It's it's okay for it to be retired. So be, be aware of all of that. And then get, get taking action on it. And that is the, um, look at some of the best things that you can do. Find someone to hold you accountable to what it is that you say you want to achieve, what it is that you're saying that you want to actually do, and then go make that shit happen. Because unless you're taking action, nothing happens, nothing changes. So that is that for you, my friends. I am going to love you and leave you. We bid you a very amazing, amazing day. Get out there, go help some people, have a whole ton of fun doing it, and remember that the world is ready for your brand of awesome. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.